How are we doing guys? You may have seen one of Brain Frog's videos last week or Merp TV. Uh, you might have even seen one of my videos and it's all around Mantella and the ChatGPT AI based uh, mods for Skyrim. And if you haven't, this is what they can do. Can I help you with something before I go? You're an asshole, fight me. I'm not scared of you, fight me. Watch your tongue. Oh, <laughs> he's, he's going for it. He's going for it. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're not an asshole. Hey, John, you're not an asshole. I'm sorry. John, things got out of hand. I accept your apology. Let's just put this incident behind us and Yes, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go. Now this mod is so intelligent that it is able to allow NPCs to fully understand what you're saying to them and to have full coherent conversations with you. It is so intelligent that it allows the NPCs to be offended enough to attack you and then if you apologize and you manage to convince them that you're sorry enough, they'll forgive you. Listen, I have to tell you, she's been having an affair with you. I'm really sorry to tell you this. What nonsense is this? A fight. Whoa, whoa. My wife, Adrienne, is a lot of my life. Whoa. Which mistress here at War Maidens. Why are you fighting me? So I made a guide on how to actually do this. Um, if you have a look at the Nexus page or the GitHub of um, Art From The Machine, who is the developer of Mantella, um, you will see my video guide showing exactly how to do this. Um, I wouldn't expect this particular video to get too many views because it is a very niche subject, but essentially what we're going to be discussing today and what I'm going to be showing you how to do is how to edit the script um, I and I in such a way to change the language model, which is very important because it is set to default as ChatGPT 3.5. Um, maybe you want to pay for a better language model. I'm using a really good model at the moment, which I'll show you guys later. Um, and the parameters around how to essentially make sure that you get the best out of that model, because um, there are specifics that need to be looked at. Now, before we get too deep into this video, I just want to say that I'm no expert at this. Um, I've learned everything that I've learned from the Discord, the Mantele Discord, which I will link in this um, in this video and uh, I would also highly recommend you go to the Mantella Discord and ask all the questions you need there. There's an amazing dev team there uh, and support team there that will uh, help you. Um, and apart from that, uh, check my Discord out. Um, if this video helps you, like, subscribe, always helps the channel. Thank you very much. So here we are in our Mantella install folder and we can see where we put our secret key and we can also see where our config I and I is. And if you watched my installation video of Mantella, you will know about these two files already. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna control F and search for language model and that's gonna pop up. And as you can see straight out of the install, it is set to ChatGPT 3.5, which is OpenAI. This section right here called model is where we are going to insert our model. And up here you can see uh, examples of different models and different GPT models, which you can get off of OpenAI's website. Now we are actually gonna go ahead and use OpenRouter, which I would recommend over OpenAI personally, but that's completely up to you. Now Mantella have very handily given us this link so we are going to copy this and put this into our browser. And once we do that we can see a whole list of language models under OpenRouter, some of which are free and some of which are a little bit more expensive. Obviously the more expensive ones have much higher, well, they're smarter, let's just put it that way. So we're going to select this one, it's a free model. I'm going to copy that and that is the actual language model which we are going to paste over the old chat gpt model so we'll just copy and paste it in this section right here and then of course when we go over to open ai's website we are going to need to generate another key just like we did in the guide on how to install mantella in the first place links in the description we are going to create that key we're going to copy that key and we're going to put it into our secret keys folder, which is, of course, in our Mantella installation folder. 
Now, of course, just like we did in our open AI guide, we are going to go into open router and make sure that we have some credit there to spend on our language model. And I've been playing this for hours and you can see I've only used, I haven't even used a pound yet or a dollar yet. <laughs> Now, so far, we have gone on to Open Router. We have got our alternate model. We have topped up our credit, and it is now time to change our API. And the alternate API base to Open AI needs to be chosen. And Mantella being as great as they are, they've given us the full list of APIs. So from the examples list here you can see the one for open router which is router.ai api v1 we're going to copy that and we're going to paste it into the alternate open ai api base section just like so now the last thing to consider is to change the maximum response sentences and it is automatically set to 999 for chat gpt 3.5 However, with the more advanced model, we want to change that down to two or three maximum response sentences. And that is, as it says, going to lower the waffling. Um, if you have it on 999 and you have a very intelligent model, then it will talk your ear off. Your responses will be like five minutes long. It's ridiculous. So two sentences or three sentences, I think is more than enough. So that's basically everything you need to know on a basic level uh, on how to work with language models and how to change them from chat gpt to a free model or a really good model like the one i've got i will link the model that i use in the description of this video it is an open router model um, but i would highly recommend it one last thing i'm going to say is if you go into skyrim and you go into mantella's mod uh, controls uh, and you change the settings in Mantella inside Skyrim there is two options um, follow which is uh, still currently experimental but works um, you can tell someone to follow you and uh, depending on the NPC they will just follow you. you can just say follow me they'll follow you without opening windows it's brilliant and the last one which isn't experimental and works as you've seen in these previous videos is you can piss someone off and they'll attack you and you can set that on or off and it, it will allow uh, any npc really if they get offended to just attack you um, and the mechanics are really fun and I, I think it just sets up for some really fun situations so um, like i said i don't expect this video to get lots of uh, views because it is very niche but um, there isn't a lot of tutorials out there at the moment discussing this subject so i really wanted to just get out there and help uh, everybody uh, just in general and just get you guys up and running when it comes to mantella because i think this is brilliant brilliant technology and i think it is the future of gaming i hope this has been helpful i'll see you in the next one bye bye guys